When you're ready, a couple questions. All right, Easy, you could be on your way. All right, All right, what does it mean to you to be entering into the College Football Hall of Fame? Uh, well, this is an honor I did not anticipate when I entered uh, the University of Georgia uh, far longer ago than I care to recall. Um, but it's to, to be among these players and um, uh, coaches, it's quite the honor. I mean, it really is one that um, I don't think any of us probably would have come out of high school thinking, absolutely, this is something that we could anticipate happening. But um, to gain that recognition um, in what I think all of us would agree is the ultimate team sport is, um, I think, representative of some of the teams that we were um, blessed with the opportunity to play on. And so because of that, um, it's, um, it's quite the recognition. And I view it kind of as a, a collective award of sorts for the, the guys that I actually got the chance to play with as well. What was the moment like when you found out the news? I was a little bit unique in that um, the announcement was sent to a different address than the one I was, where I was living. So because of that, um, uh, it was somewhat, I wouldn't say anticlimactic, but a little bit curious because I did not know what uh, all these text messages were about, congratulating me on um, the induction or the eventual induction because I did not know what they were talking about. So because of that, um, the uh, jubilation was a little bit more delayed uh, pending confirmation of what exactly we are celebrating. What did you do to get the confirmation? Who would you call? Um, I actually spoke with Lauren Smith and it was one of the most awkward conversations I've ever had because it's just not something that you would normally uh, offer to someone. Uh, uh, a question that's not the most um, uh, it's not the easiest conversation to broach. So because of that, um, it was uh, it was entertaining in hindsight and at the time incredibly painful. But I called Lauren Smith, who, uh, who's been a member of the NFF for a long time and runs the chapter there in Athens, and, and he was good enough to confirm that uh, the, uh, the induction was, in fact, uh, legitimate. That's really funny. <laughs> yeah, it was... It was, it was not one that I think anyone had designed, but it proved to make for a really good story, yeah. Absolutely. Now, what does it mean to you that the halls in Atlanta extra special? Certainly convenient, although if you've ever been to Atlanta, you'll know that the convenience in Atlanta are, are two mutually exclusive terms, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, no, it's great that, that, that the hall itself and a good friend of mine actually was part of the effort to bring it to Atlanta, Georgia. So um, the fact that it's there in town, the fact that uh, there's a number of Hall of Famers that actually live in Atlanta or the Atlanta area, um, it makes a lot of sense. I think a lot of folks have really enjoyed that venue. It's like a club within a club. That's right. That's right. A club of convenience, if nothing else. What, when you look back on your college career, what do you consider the absolute highlight? Well, that's, that's a difficult question. Um, from a game standpoint, uh, I would probably say we played a four overtime game versus Auburn in 96. It was the first overtime game in Southeastern Conference history. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, a game that we were not intended to win. Um, there's a number, but the relationships that you pull from and through those four years, I think, are the ones that, um, those are the elements of those four years, I think, that stick with you the most. Great. All right. Will you give us a shot of you holding up your cool medal, too, to sure, the camera? Absolutely. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the day and the evening.